Yes, yes, you know it's Sunday, right? Here we are again. As always, as every Sunday, I'm Alberto Iglesias. This is, you know, Drumstick Sunday. And here we are talking about a different pair of drumsticks every week. Uh, okay, cool. First of all, I, I assume most of you <laughs> haven't read that, uh, that thing that I'm going to talk about. Is that my, my body, uh, now my body is, I think now it's my body. <laughs> Fran Gonzalo from uh, El Redolante, it's a Spanish blog. Uh, I, I don't know why, I assume he went crazy for some reason and decided to. Uh, well, uh, Fran is a follower, he's, he's following the channel and uh, he decided to, to make me an interview and okay, you, you can find out that, I'm gonna put the link, but anyway, it's in Spanish, <laughs> but I think you can maybe use translator or something, but um, it's just, I, I just want to say thank you, Fran, it's, it's been awesome, I'm not sure, as you know, as I told you, I'm not sure if it's something, I, I can say something interesting for uh, all the drummers, but uh, uh, anyway, really, really appreciate that you uh, that you have done that, and, and really, really thank you. Cool. Let's talk about drumsticks. Uh, this week is not about a request. This is the one is for me, and just nothing special, really. It's uh, when I was uh, doing the last uh, drumsticks order online, I found out uh, this model and really take my attention, uh, and uh, I just decided to 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 give it a try. Uh, well, first of all, it's the Agner drumsticks. Well, well I, we've been talking about Agner, I think, two times now. Uh, it's a company, it's from Switzerland, and he's, uh, it's just recently been entering the Spanish market because of Tantan -tan percussion. And, uh, well, the thing is, when I, when I was, uh, you know, going through the page and all that, I found out this model, which is curious for me, uh, because of the, especially for the tip, uh, it's because it's a round tip, uh, booth round tip, um, but you know what, before saying anything else, first let's say the model I'm talking about and let's see the picture, okay, cool. So here you have the Agner Drum 6, this is the model Fusion, <laughs> Fusion uh, Hickory, okay, here you have it. Okay, now you know what I'm, I'm talking about. And as I was saying, it's kind of peculiar for me this model because of it's uh, uh, what I've been um, watching in many companies when they talk about round tip, especially in wood, uh, they are usually talking more about barrel tip or something more closer to barrel tip than, than really, really round, like a spheric uh, tip. Uh, in this case, it's kind of Spheric, it's like a perfect sphere. Uh, so uh, it really paid my attention, and I decided to see. Okay, let's try that. Uh, so, but before talking about the results and the test and all that, let's see the. Let, let's talk about the sizes and all. Okay, uh, cool. I have the sizes in milli millimeters because they are from Switzerland. But anyway, I suppose that if you are watching this in English, you you are used to. Uh, to inches, so I, I'm going to translate that to inches. So we have, uh, if we talk about the length, we have 16.063, uh, okay, so more like 16. About the grip thickness, we have 0 0.57, almost 9, cool. Uh, we have hickory, we have uh, really, really, I think it's, it's uh, um, long uh, taper. Oh, I'm pretty sure it's long taper, at least it's for me. And we have round tip, as you can see. A really, really thin neck, also important in these drumsticks. And I, well, I assume it's the regular finish from Agner. I don't know nothing about that, but it's, it's the regular finish, nothing special about that. Um, cool, that's all the sizes. As I always do, let's 
kind of translate that to be able to compare with other drumsticks and to have a better idea what does it mean and all that. Uh, we have, uh, well, about the length, it's, we can assume it's 16 inches. It's just more because of maybe because the translation, translation or conversion. So we have a regular 16. Uh, about the thickness, this is important. We have 0 0.57, almost 5.79, let's say. Okay, cool. So we are kind of in the middle between a regular 5A and regular 5B. Regular, okay, you know, we t we are picking the big first uh, sizes just as a reference, as I mentioned in the past video, I think. Uh, so, 5A, 0 0.565, uh, 5B, 0, uh, 0 0.595, we have 579, so more or less in the middle. Uh, that's what it is, cool, that's about the thickness. Uh, round tip. Really, really round tip in this case. A long taper with a really thin uh, uh, neck, as I mentioned. Uh, really cool. And, well, the regular fingers. Cool. We have, anyway, so we have a drumstick in the middle of 5A five, five and 5B, but with this special tip or the, the, this part is kind of different from a regular acorn medium taper thing, okay? Cool. About the what? What can I say about that? First of all, I want I want to mention, or it, it's kind of a, a thing that I've been realizing lately. Uh, when many companies mention when when they talk about fusion drumsticks, uh, I I can I, I think they have two main things in mind, or at least is what I'm being finding out in in different situations. First of all, is the thickness. It's kind of typical that they have this kind of in the middle between 5A and 5B. I assume it's because, you know, the traditional thing or uh, way to, to, to think about this is that the 5A is more for pop or kind of pop rock and 5B is more for rock and, you know, uh, harder styles. Uh, so fusion is kind of between that, it's kind of in the middle. Sometimes you go a little bit closer to rock, but they're usually closer to 5A, to pop or, it's kind of that in, in the middle vibe. <laughs> so uh, it makes sense that they think, okay, maybe 5A, it's, uh, we, maybe sometimes we need a little more of 5A, but sometimes it's too much 5B, so we have this option in the middle. Uh, Vincent, for example, they have the 55F, the Fusion F, <laughs> which is the same idea. It's, it's the, the, the drumsticks that are in the middle between 5A and 5B. But, Sometimes when they talk about fusion, it's more uh, it's typical to find that to find that they have that that uh, thickness. Uh, okay, that's the first thing. The second thing it's about the the tip or the combination of of tip and and, and, and uh, I forgot what, how they go, how do you call in English this this part? Uh, I'm going to remember that in in, in a minute. Don't worry. Uh, taper. Taper, come on. So this combination of tip and ta of tip and taper, they have uh, what they usually do. Is they are they are looking for more definition. Okay. They are uh, instead of looking for power on, on punch, you know, more sound, volume, and all that. They are looking for definition. That's probably because fusion. Uh, uh, when we talk about fusion in drums, uh, they they usually have more musicality, they look for that, they have more, you know, uh, strange combination, multiple hits, uh, t you know, you are usually looking for that, you have to, so it's kind of better to, to be able to distinguish every stroke, uh, it gives you more, uh, I, I think it gives you more, the, a better idea of what you are looking for, you get that, that strokes, uh, Sometimes you have a lot of volume if the drum heads and cymbals are really excited when you hit them. Um, sometimes you're gonna cover, maybe you're gonna get more sounds, more overtones, and sometimes it's too much. Uh, so that's why I think in Fusion it makes more sense to have that extra definition instead of volume. Um, and that's why that's the two things I've, I've been realizing that they uh, have 
in common sometimes when we talk about a fusion drumstick. Uh, okay, cool. So in this case, okay, about the thickness, it's okay, just in the middle. And what about this combination? First of all, the round tip. Two things that I've been, I, I've said this uh, many times in the past but about round tip. Uh, just a quick recap. Uh, two main things. First of all, round tip. It's uh, less surface touching the the drum head or the cymbal, so more definition. Okay, more surface touching, uh, less overtones. More what we are, we are talking about. More definition in the head. Okay, the stroke is is clearer for you. And um, the second thing is the angle of attack, the independence of the angle of attack. What happens here is like because the, the uh, tip has the same shape in all directions, in all angles, when you play, you get uh, the response you get is more consistent, especially about the rebound, because it's kind of the same shape touching always. When you have a really flat surface, it really matters if you hit like this or if you hit like this. You're gonna get a different response, a different sound. In this case, it's always the same. Uh, no matter how you hit, the same surface touching. Of course, the angle of attack is gonna be different. The direction is gonna be a little bit different, but the surface are the same. So uh, it's more consistent uh, in the rebound. So that's why the, I, I've heard many times that um, it, it's a great choice for beginners. You are starting to play, you have a lot of things to really take care of and to think and you don't know how you play, you don't know how to hold the drumsticks, you don't have a lot of things to think about. So round tip probably is gonna at least help you a little bit to say, okay, I'm gonna give you the same response. Don't worry now about the angle, just play however you, you can and don't worry about that for now. In the future, when you are able to control that, you can decide, okay, I prefer this or prefer that. But in the beginning, it's a great, great option, I think. So, round tip, in this case, it makes, I think it makes sense with the fusion theme, with that definition that we were talking about. Cool. The other thing that we have here is the long taper, but I think I've mentioned this in one of the last videos, I don't remember now which one, but uh, when we talk about taper, we have to take care of two things. One is the length of the taper. Okay, we have this surface here. In this case, it's more or less like this. But the other thing is the neck. I mean, the difference between this and this. is it, it, it has an influence to it. It's not the same as we have this uh, length, but we have a really thick neck. Because in this case, the, 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 the taper is gonna, is gonna have a different shape. I don't have more weight here or less weight here, depending on the neck, thickness, and all that. So, in this case, we have kind of long taper and at the same time, really, really thin neck. So, that contrast is going to give you a different behavior, okay? Which is, first of all, fast rebound. Why? We have less weight here on the surface, you know, we've been talking about this and many times when we talk about uh, long uh, long taper we have this cool we have that speed and at the same time we have a little bit of uh, loose we, we lose control about that rebound it's more like move around and you have to learn to control that uh, that's the two things that happens with in this case okay uh, the, in this case, the, the uncontrolled thing is kind of extreme because, because we have really, really thin, uh, really thin neck. Uh, so compared with this especially, so you can feel that. You can feel that it's really fast, it really rebounds really fast, but it moves around, you have to control that. It's, it's kind of uh, strange at the beginning. Uh, but, uh, well, that's the first thing. And the second thing is the volume, it's a volume thing. You, you, uh, re you are removing weight here, you're removing uh, material. So you have uh, the volume, you get, this, is, you get less volume in this case. Even if you hit really hard, you kind of miss. I've, I've, I've said that in the past also, it's, uh, it's not, maybe volume is not a good word in this case. It's like the fatness of the sound. You, you can get really loud sound, but it's more um, 
smaller thing. You you miss a little bit of the of the power. I don't know power or the, you know you 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 can really feel that it's thin. It's more flat. You can hear the snap, but you miss the rest of the sound. Something like that. So uh, both things combined, the tip and this kind of taper, I think works really great with with the fusion vibe. So that's why I think it's it's really designed for that and it was really the intention is clear for me and it works it's just it's what you get you can play really fast with this uh, but if you start playing a really heavy metal song you're gonna realize at the beginning oh, what happens here is I miss something because you need that you need that extra volume you need an extra power um, but if you're playing fusion or maybe even um, blues things, shuffles, and when you don't, you're not looking for a lot of volume, you get more of the snap, you're looking for all that kind of thing, uh, it works really great. So that's what I can say. I think I think it is a perfect example of, uh, of a drumstick design with one intention, and that is just doing his work. And it's a great option if you have, if you play different styles and to have a pair of this, is or these are similar options, I mean, but uh, and th that's the thing about this channel, in fact, it's about the thing about having options. And, uh, you are gonna be, you're gonna get the sound that fits better with the kind of music you're playing. And I think it's awesome. Uh, and even you can get a little bit more help, you get a more, better rebound, the, the drumsticks adapts better to what you're playing. I think it's really cool. So. Great option. Uh, in fact, I think Abner is it's really it's good. Uh, I think they have uh, a lot of different, not strange, but really cool combinations too with that kind of stuff, with jazz, with all that stuff. I didn't knew this this company. I didn't know this company, but um, I think they're good drumsticks. Cool. So, as you know, no affiliation, no relationship with them by any means. It's just what I've been looking for. Well, not not looking for. <laughs> That's uh, what I've been uh, realizing uh, after testing it. Okay, cool. You know, seven days. Uh, I'll be waiting here uh, as always with a different pair in my hands, so we can talk about drumsticks again. Okay, so see you next Sunday. Goodbye.